So I may have gone just a little bit crazy with pin mail this week. This was all of the pin mail that I received in a Monday to Monday period. Let me preface this by saying this is not what a normal week is like. Most weeks it might be just one or two pieces of pin mail, sometimes nothing. But this week turned into a little bit of a mountain of pin mail. It was basically the confluence of cool new pins being released that fit into my collections and also just finding really awesome deals on pins that I'd been looking for. Since I did end up with quite the mountain of mail this week, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to do a little or rather large pin mail video. I've already opened up all these packages and and debubble wrapped the pins because otherwise this video would be mainly editing out trying to extract all their pins from the packaging and not showing my address but then there's also the fact of there's no way I'd really have the patience to have all this mail pile up and not open any of it for the course of a week but I am very excited to share all the new pins that I've got and I promise I'm not this crazy with the pin mail every week. All the pins that I got are ones for my specific collections, so I'm gonna start off with these individual, slightly more miscellaneous ones. This pin was a very inexpensive find on eBay, just somehow randomly searching stuff, and it is for my geology and earth science collection. This pin has a nerdy Pluto, and it says, Science Rocks. The pin was from an old starter set that featured the characters stylized as nerds, and Pluto was this one where it says, Science Rocks, and so I thought it would be fitting because it's kind of, you know, like a little geology pun rocks and it is true that science does rock this mail also has some rather inexpensive pins but these ones are a relatively new release and I got a pair of little Wally and Eve emojis from the new emoji booster set Wally is my absolute favorite Disney movie and I have a decent collection of Wally pins when I started out I focused more on Wally but they don't actually make many Wally pins, and the ones that are out there and really cool are just really old and really expensive. So I'm very excited that they came out with some new, very accessible Wally pins. I just got this one Wally and one E from the set, and I got the ones where they're kind of the, like the heart eyes. I don't really like the emoji sets where they are like crying or scared looking, so I just chose these two because I thought they were a pretty cute pair. This next miscellaneous mail is for my Splash Mountain pin collection, and this kind of could be classified as a little mini grail. It's something that I didn't think I would find, but was very happy to come across. This pin features Minnie getting splashed by Splash Mountain. So this pin is actually pretty special and hard to find. It actually comes from an LE 250 frame set and it was released as part of Mickey's Pin Festival of Dreams and I was super happy to find this because when a pin is an edition size of only 250 that means it's going to be pretty hard to find but when it's in a framed set that's even harder to find. I'm a little disappointed because this pin has some pretty bad pricks in the enamel likely from being banged up against other pins, but it's something that's for my own collection, and I don't think I would have been able to find this otherwise, so I'm not too fussed about it. So next, we're moving into new pins for my main collections. Zootopia is my primary pin collection, and it has been so for a very long time now. One of my earliest videos was sharing my Zootopia pin collection, and so it's always really exciting when they come out with new Zootopia pins. So two of these pins are brand new releases, and one is a pin that I've been looking for for a very long time and finally found. This first one here in the box comes all the way from Hong Kong Disneyland. I definitely appreciate that the seller sent this in a box and it was super securely packaged because you never know what could happen to a package when it's being sent overseas. So this Zootopia pin was from the recent Hong Kong Disneyland Pin Trading Carnival. This pin features Nick and Judy on it and it is one of the prettiest pins I have seen in a long time. This pin is a limited edition of 800 and was part of a set that was released there that features different Disney characters at different events of the different international Disney parks. So Hong Kong Disneyland's event was Disney Friends Springtime Carnival, and this pin features Nick and Judy munching on some snacks. Judy's holding a little ice cream popsicle and Nick has a bucket of popcorn, and they're also both wearing little pin lanyards. You can kind of make out the design of some of their pins. There's like a little Z for Zootopia and a police crest. But this pin is just like beyond beautiful. All of the enamel is just so nice and smooth and shiny and it's so super glittery. If you're ever feeling down about the current quality of Disney pins, because truly quality control seems to be slipping every day, get yourself some pins from Hong Kong Disneyland because they are as beautiful as ever. This next Zootopia pin is one that I have been looking for quite a while, but I hadn't been able to find it at an attainable price until now. And that pin is the Judy Hopkins crest shield from the original Disney Studio Store Hollywood Zootopia pin release but I hadn't yet discovered the online pin trading world when Zootopia was released so it's taken until now for me to be able to find this Judy Hopps pin there's another pin that features Chief Bogo in the exact same design it's a pin on pin and unlike most Disney pins these are actually more of like a soft enamel 
where they're kind of recessed in to give it a little bit more of dimension to them. And this pin is a limited edition of 400. I have one more Zootopia pin and this one actually just came in the mail today. And this one is the Zootopia film strip from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood online pin release. And you know, of course, the Disney Studio Store Hollywood dropped their online pin release the two hours that I was gone in class. So it's like they knew just the wrong time to do it. But this pin is so pretty and nice in person. And I'm very happy by the size of it. This Judy is on the standard size backer card for the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. So I never have a sense for scale when I see just pictures of the pins on backer card, what it's going to look like. But these are the whopping size backing cards. This pin really just has so many nice details on it. It features Bellwether, Judy, and Nick Wilde. And the Judy scene in the middle actually has stained glass in the background. So that was a really cool surprise to get on these pins because with the artwork, you couldn't really tell that it was gonna come like that. This pin is a limited edition of 300. And then the rest of everything is for my Emperor's New Groove collection. After Zootopia, Emperor's New Groove is my next biggest movie collection. And it's very exciting because they've actually been having a number of new pins themed to Emperor's New Groove come out. I was able to get an at cost park pickup of the brand new open edition Emperor's New Groove pin that came out. I absolutely love this pin so much. It features Kronk as a little squirrel scout with the squirrel. The pin reads, squeaky squeak, squeaker squeakin'. So I just think that this is too funny. The only thing I notice is that Kronk kind of seems to be missing some pupils. So this is kind of an example of the US quality control of the pins. Not quite as good as the Hong Kong. But if they come up with any more open edition Emperor's New Group pins, that would be totally cool. This Emperor's New Group pin was actually released quite a while ago, and I may do a little modification with it. This pin is a Happy Halloween 2016 pin that features Yzma on it. Yzma is my absolute favorite Disney villain. I don't really care for any of the other villains besides her and Madame Medusa. I only got this pin because I found it for way, way under retail, probably half price on eBay. And what I'm what I'm thinking of doing, which may be a little blasphemous, is I kind of want to scrape off the Happy Halloween and Year text. I do have a collection of Halloween pins, but I want this with my Emperor's New Group pins. I don't really like things that have a specific year dated on them. And I think this would just look a lot better if it's just kind of the green smoke coming off the drink. But because this is my own pin for my own collection, I think I might try a little modification. This next pin also features Yzma on it. This Yzma pin comes from Disneyland Paris and was part of their limited edition villain pin series a year or so ago. This pin is so much prettier and more detailed than I'd even thought. It's got a lovely thick metal sculpted frame with some little jewels put in. It's got a little Cusco engraved into the top and Yzma just looks fantastically villainous. She seems to be a little pin on pin and I can't really tell what the background little pink is, but there's just so much nice dimension to this pin. And this pin is a limited edition of 700. Finally, we've made it to my very last piece of pin mail. This one I also just received today and is a brand new limited edition parks release. This pin is part of the new monthly Disneyland pin series, Once Upon a Time. These pins are really neat because they have a little moving element and they actually change scenes. First scene features Cusco and his llama form and then Pacha. Pacha's face looks maybe a little bit derpy, but it's pretty cool because you don't really see Pacha on many pins. And I don't know if it comes across so much, but the enamel on this pin is actually glossy. And then you flip it, and then this scene shows Cusco in his human form talking with Yzma. And it's the scene with the food banquet where they're trying to poison Cusco. I'm probably going to keep it open to this scene because I love all the details in it. And of course I love Yzma, but you know, maybe I might rotate with the other scene too to kind of switch it up. And this pin is a limited edition of 2000. So that was all of my pin mail for this week period. And like I said, this is way, way more than I normally get. I find that for me, pin mail typically kind of comes in waves where there'll be a big rush like this and then a pretty quiet lull for a while. But I've done a few pin trades, so I know I have some more of that coming in. And I think pin mail is just really fun to send and receive. It's great to come home from a day of work and see some fun pin mail packages in your mailbox. I always keep all of my pins available for trade listed on my pin picks account, which is listed in the description below. And I mainly like to do open edition pin trading, mystery pin trading. But thank you for bearing through with my little mountain of pin mail, and thanks for watching!